This episode is titled Obsession. And we can follow the thread of its powerful theme leading back to Captain Ahab and his single-minded pursuit of the white whale. Like Ahab, Kirk is obsessed with killing a creature who poses a threat to everyone in its path. This cloud-like being feeds on human blood. It's interesting to note that the writer of this episode, Art Wallace, was also one of the writers on the vampire soap opera, Dark Shadows. Now, Obsession. You're watching the Star Trek episode that holds the all-time record for crew casualties. If you notice, all the actors wearing red shirts get killed, except, of course, for Scotty, since the Star Trek cast regulars couldn't be killed. New crewmen, portrayed by bit players or stuntmen, had to be the victims. Keep track of the red shirts, and you, too, can predict who will be the next to go in this or any other episode, followed by McCoy's inevitable pronouncement, He's dead, Jim. The phaser is to the crew of the Enterprise what the Colt 45 was to the Frontier Cowboy. We never left home without it. But, how much does a phaser cost? Well, you can run down to the local gun shop and ask, or you can check the old records. How about $7,000 for eight of them? That's what the original props cost. And they weren't very good, flat and ugly. Didn't even shoot a beam of light. The prop boys tried that on other models, but under the bright lights of the set, no flashlight beam would be visible. We didn't have laser beams then, so the phaser's visible rays had to be added optically. We went through a number of different designs, but the simplest was still the best. <laughs> 